So on a more serious note, just the other day, I saw a video somewhere, I believe it was Reddit, where there were happy people. And I know it sounds, it sounds crazy that I say that in that way, as if it was something <clears throat> what is very hard to fathom. <laughs> and sometimes it is. Let's not make a mistake about, about that. But also let me first have a look. We have a bench here. I just, just a moment. So yeah, I'm back. There is. There's a bench because I want to sit for that one. Don't know how, for how long. I want, just want to sit for a moment. So the interesting thing was there were people that were happy, all smiling, father playing with his son, mother playing with daughter, this kind of stuff. Funny videos from party, from something they enjoy doing. And then at the end of the video, when you thought, okay, there were all people that were very in a very good mood, smiling. And at the end of the video, there was that message that that were all people, the last video of people before they took their own life. With the remark that suicidal doesn't always look suicidal. And I can tell you that, that's true, that's true. Because if you ever suffer from suicidal thoughts, if you ever had them, then, uh, yeah, you know you, you are not in some kind of way signaling it to your environment all of the time. And um, the, the, that, the, the, the sad thing here is that most of the time people who utter their suicidal thoughts, they oftentimes get in return that they just seeking for attention or something. Yeah, it can be. I, I don't want to rule that out, that, that there are cases where people just want the attention. But even if that's the case, there's a reason they feel so miserably that they want to die in order to get noticed in some way. That there's something what makes them so desperate that they would try to kill themselves. Yeah, there's a lot to it. There's a lot, there's a lot what can be said. At some point you get hardened and um, personally I see it like in that uh, series by Ricky Gervais that uh, afterlife where he decided to kill himself but not to kill himself so where he just decides okay i'm doing now what i want say what i want do whatever i want and i still can kill me later <laughs> and that's while well, that's a funny approach it's actually the way that i'm uh, that i'm doing it now I'm in exact the same uh, spot. The thing is that it's amazing that people aren't, that there are still people who aren't understand the basic concepts. And I'm not even 
the kind of a person who would say, oh yeah, we must make that uh, topic uh, discussable or something like that. I don't care. I actually don't, don't care. I'm at that stage where I, I, where I really don't care about it. But what I found amazing was when I, when I was talking to a, a friend just yesterday, we didn't talk to each other in a while, and uh, the topic came up. So what she said was quiet, uh, yeah. It was uh, an, an, an that proved to me how uh, limited how limited she is in her whole thought process and always where she said that she would only uh, found that acceptable when people are extremely sick. And I said, yeah, those people are actually extremely sick. It doesn't have to be a sickness that is in, uh, physically like cancer or a, a broken leg or something. Just because you can't see it and can't put a band-aid on it or something or, or, or shoot some medication against it or radiation, or chemo, or whatever, doesn't mean that it isn't a sickness. It is a sickness. So, I thought her entire argument wasn't valid in any way. That <laughs> suicide was only a valid option if somebody is extremely sick. Yeah, they are extremely sick. But it's with uh, mental health, people just don't see it. And that makes it even worse. If you're in a situation where your mental health isn't on par and you, and you uh, are in need for help, um, even if you see a doctor and get help from a certain uh, governmental uh, departments or something, there's still that problem that they don't see. And I talked to a doctor about it once. He said the big, biggest problem he had was that he couldn't see. He just couldn't see what was going on. He said, you can tell me what you want and I just have to take it on face value. So I can't say, oh, you are making it up. You are not making it up. You, uh, if you had a broken leg, I could, I could just uh, cast it and uh, see you in six weeks and have a look how it is. But now I give you pills and then I see in six weeks, we talk again, you, 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 you ate all the pills and you uh, tell me how it is. Then you tell me it's not good or it's better or whatever. Most likely you will tell me that it's not better. And yeah, yeah rightfully so. He said, I don't care. Um, <laughs> it's not easy. It's not easy for ni for neither side. But uh, to say that people are not sick, that's a little bit stupid. I think she's a cunt. And uh, excuse my French. Yeah. We'll have to tell her that. <laughs> But yeah, okay. I don't know where I'm going with that now. Maybe I have a nicer subject tomorrow. This was my subject for today. Yeah.
I, I really enjoy the environment here. Never thought that. So for now, have a great day. Stay healthy and stay happy. Bye.